Okay class, today we're going to talk about the early 19th century, more specifically the American paintings found during this romantic time. Yes, teacher. To start, you will do a 19th century romantic nationalism project on American painting. Focus on landscape portraits of Native Americans. Tie these in with the romantic themes. Any questions? What are the themes again, teacher? An emphasis on imagination, interest in the past, Nationalism, love of nature, individualism, Gothic imagination, and idealism. Assignment is due tomorrow. Hey, it's time to go. Wake up! Come on! Uh, okay, I'm up, I'm okay, up. Okay, okay. So what is teacher talking about today? Romantic is a hard to pay attention. Of course not. Oh my god, I forgot my pencil! Okay, let's go! Ah! What is that? It's an arm! Oh my god! So take this paper, follow the clues, and you'll get an A. Reading this, then that means I'm dead. However, I still want you to learn about romanticism. So, here's your first clue. There is a stream surrounded by trees, a picture of the American dream, hiding some keys to the treasure, the distance you have to measure. Whatever, just find me. What is this? I don't understand this romanticism stuff at all. Ah. Oh, weren't you listening in class? No, I was sleeping. Well, don't you remember what the teacher said? She said that... As different philosophies and movements reformed Europe and new ideas rushed into the United States, styles of art and literature began to change. The age of reason and rationalism that had swept America in the 18th century gave way to romanticism, a movement that stressed individualism, emotions as opposed to practicality, nature and solitude as opposed to the public and the urban, etc. In the early 19th century, during the Romantic movement, artists began to paint beautiful yet enigmatic sceneries depicting the magnificence and mysteries of nature. Painters did not just paint what they saw, but also began to incorporate their own feelings and moods into their paintings. Paintings of the supernatural and gothic began to spring up. Paintings of the mysterious and- Oh, I get it now. So all these clues have to do with romanticism. Yeah. Wait, there's something on the back. Oh, it's a picture! Oh, it's a teacher stamp! Oh, okay, so this is from the teacher then. Okay, so okay. what romantic themes would be in this picture? Hmm. Well, it's a landscape, so there's a love of nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can see the trees and stuff. Uh-huh. And then, oh, there's like dark spots, so it's showing like... Contrast between contrast. lighting, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. also light in the middle. And then also like gothic imagination, so it's giving off a kind of mysterious feeling. Yeah. It has to be a place so where there's trees and water, water and some rocks and maybe dark. So it's hmm. got to be close to here, right? Right there! Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go! Okay! Oh. Ah. Oh, and it looks exactly like this picture right here. Oh, yeah. So there's like water. And look, that even looks like a waterfall. Yeah. Mm. And trees. Oh, hey, look, look, look. Oh, my God, there's a key there, just like in the clue. Let's go. Mm. Hey, but there's a teacher's stamp. Yeah, so that means it has to be a clue. And we have a key. I guess we'll just save it for later. Okay. Hmm. So, what are the romantic themes for this one? Well, it's a portrait. Well, nationalism, because there's George Washington. You're right, and he's probably leading leading the people, and they're showing great respect towards him. Hmm. Oh, and he's really bright, and his horse is bright and lively, like really white. Yeah. But then all the people around him are like dark and dreary. So it kind of puts the focus on 
George Washington's it? Yeah, showing the his. It's idealistic because it shows that he's kind of like a. It portrays him as a hero, and contrasting light puts all the attention on George Washington. Oh, and then the trees and clouds added a kind of ambiguity to it, so then it makes the painting look more legendary. Oh, look, he's pointing down. Oh, look, there's a piece of paper down there. That could be a clue. All right, let's go. <laughs> hey, I know this painting. It's the Mona Lisa. Oh, my God. <laughs> So let's see the romantic elements. Oh, I know it's like the Mona Lisa. She's like really white, <laughs> and it's contrasting with the dark background, and it's giving off a mysterious feeling on the edges. So this is probably a clue, right? No, were you even paying attention in class? The no, Mona Lisa was painted during the Renaissance. Oh, the romantic period is in the early 19th century. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, so that's probably so then, not our clue. Okay, so what's the next clue? Oh, it's on the back. Oh! The <laughs> uh, okay, so what romantic themes are in this picture? Well, there's the contrast of dark and light between the first one and the background. Oh yeah, that's true. And the background kind of gives off this mysterious feeling. And there's some trees, so it shows the love of nature. And then there's the focus on the individual because it's a portrait. And it's kind of showing him in a greater light. So, hmm. so how how does this connect to our next destination? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This guy. <sighs> this one's hard. Oh man, this really sucks. I wanted to get that A. <gasps> Hey, look! Hey, it's a red ribbon! It's just like the one in the thing! Oh my god! Maybe maybe this is the next clue! Okay, let's go! It's locked! <gasps> the key! key! Oh yeah, okay! Where are you trying it? Finally! Oh! I thought you were dead! It was only a paper cut! Sit! <laughs> you got your A's, but we're taking more than you sh more time than you should have. You guys are gonna have another lecture. No. So, as I said before, romanticism, exalted individualism, subjectivism, rationalism, imagination, emotions, and nature. Emotion over reason and senses over intellect. Since they were in revolt against the orders, they favored the revival of potentially unlimited numbers of styles. Anything that aroused them. Romantic artists were fascinated by the nature, the genius, their passions and inner struggles, their moods, mental potentials, the heroes. The first coherent school of American art, the Hudson River Painters, helped to shape the mythos of the American landscape, beginning with the works of Thomas Cole and Asher B. Duran, and evolving into the luminous and late romantic schools. Landscape painting was the prevalent genre of the 19th century American art. They started in 1835 and ended in 1870. The Hudson River School was the first American school of landscape painting, and their subjects of art were romantic spectacles from the Hudson River Valley and upstate New York. The artist Thomas Cole is synonymous with this region, and the first leader of the group. Other famous artists of the group are George Caleb Bingham, Asher B. Duran, Thomas Moran, Albert Bierstadt, Frederick Edwin Tess, George Innes, John Frederick Kensett, Martin Johnson Heed, and much more.